Hey guys, Justin here from 420 Consulting with another episode of Follow Up Friday. Thanks to everyone for tuning in last week to the Q&A session. It was really cool to answer all of your questions. We got some really great feedback from those questions, so we look forward to doing that again in the near future. On this week's episode of Follow Up Friday, we are going to talk about the Craft Cultivator Hockey Card. Now, people must be going, what do you mean Craft Cultivator Hockey Card? Well, it's not obviously not an actual hockey card, but it serves the same purpose, okay? So one of the tools that we use when we're trying to help a craft cultivator or a craft processor um, acquire the missing pieces of their puzzle is what I like to refer to as the craft cultivator hockey card. And this card contains obviously the craft cultivator's name, their location, and what strains they grow, and at what grams per square foot they grow at. This is the stat I like to use because it's easily translatable into the licensed craft cultivator world. The other thing that we like to have is we need some COAs. It's one, and a COA for those that don't know, is what's called a certificate of analysis. And this is a lab, third party lab testing report that will tell us all the actual details of the products that you're cultivating. It's critical for us to have this information so that when I go to a potential partner for you and say, hey, I've got Jim Bob, he grows pink kush number nine, and it is, he grows X number of grams per square foot, and here's his COA to prove that these are the numbers he's getting in terms of THC content and terpene profiles. If I had a dollar for every grower that said, I'm the best grower, I would literally have thousands of dollars, literally thousands. So we need to be able to back up our claims with data. If you, if you want to work with a company like 420 Consulting, we're happy to help you out to put together that hockey card for you. Um, but there's also lots of great other nationally recognized um, organizations like the BC Craft Farmers Co-op. But make sure that you have what investors, what partners are looking for, and they want data to back up their investment, not just, hey, I'm the best grower, I've been going for 20 years. So that's a, my big piece of advice for the week for everybody is to kind of put together this kind of craft cultivator hockey card, or if you're a processor, same sort of story, right? Like if you're processing um, these vape pens or something like that, have them cert certified by a third party lab. Uh, craft Labs is a great one to use. Um, Dr. Bridget Simon's a good friend of ours and uh, you can send your product to her and she'll test it out for you. Okay, so I promised I would show you guys my father-in-law's plants. So they are really, really, really coming together nicely. A big thank you to Dave Robinson from PNW. Um, all the advice and help he's given me along the way in terms of nutrients and the grower's handbook that he gave me. I uh, really appreciate it, a big thank you and um, couldn't, be, couldn't be more grateful. So that's it for another uh, session of Follow Up Friday here at 420 Consulting. Make sure you follow us on all your favorite social media channels and we'll see you next week.